Hey everyone, this is Jenny Garcia and in this video I'm going to make a layout using the Coco Daisy kits for August. It has a lot of spice market. I'm going to use a bunch of the papers but first I wanted to do a background and I wanted to use these watercolors to make splatters and these are actually my daughters. So a few of them were a little muddied up and I'll, I'll give it like a queen, a quick clean up. But I, I love them. <laughs> They're so good. They're metallic. They turn out like really beautiful. And I just had the idea to use them and I asked, hey, can I borrow your paints? And she's like, I'll let you use them because I know you'll return them. And she gave me that look of like, you better return them. And I already did. Uh, I was tempted. I'm not gonna lie. It's a really cute pack. I wish I got it for myself. She is my daughter, so she has a lot of um, art supplies. She loves making art. And what I'm doing with the little bottle is that I'm adding even more water to try to make bigger splatters. It didn't really work out. But it was a lot easier than just, you know, dipping my brush repeatedly in water. And it looks like a lot right now. But I am going to cover a big portion of this when I put the globe. And when I did this, it looked like blood. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to try to change my methods and add other colors. And I actually did that big blob at the bottom and it was an accident I opened the bottle and it came out and I was like well I still like how it came out these are Bria Reese um, alcohol inks what I don't like is that once I removed a little bit of the pigment it was very sparkly and it was almost all sparkles but what you can do is like you can rub your finger on top and remove some of that sparkle and I tried to do like a little splatter on that one on top and I'm actually going to flip the that background page and I'm gonna use one of the six by eight papers to mat the photo and also to fill out the little spaces in this cut file which is from paper issues they have a lot of free cut files if you're interested and you don't want to spend any money they have a bunch and they're really good they're free and they're good so that's my favorite combination <laughs> and I was just, just I was just trying to alter the colors in these spaces and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, trace them with my Tumbow Monograph Mechanical Pencil and I'm gonna glue them down and I'm not gonna show all that I did in the video because it, it took a long time but it's very therapeutic and I love these kind of backed cut files I think Ashley Horton either still does that or used to do this a lot but I did love how they would turn out now, thanks to the magical algorithm of social media, I don't see much of her layouts, which it sucks. I have to like go all the time. I have to be like, wait a minute, I haven't seen this person in a while. And I know I follow them. And sometimes it just feels more productive to not follow the person. And then somehow it appears in your when you're going to search something. Uh, it doesn't make sense. I don't know who come up with you know all these dumb ideas but it is what it is and I'm using the Tumbow foam tape to give some dimension to the die cut and also to the photo and I really wanted to use these acetate mandala shapes which are so beautiful I love them uh, and I'm gonna end up using one but I also wanted to use some stickers around the photos and I'm gonna use some rubbins and 
some of these chipboard stickers which I love the chipboard stickers and I wanted to use them so bad in my book journal but my book journal it's already super chunky and I use these alphas which are my new favorite alphas to write the titles with it which is DuckTales Woo! because I, I don't know Every time someone says DuckTales, I have to answer with boo. And it's going to be really simple. It's not something that jumps out of you. I wanted the main focus to be the photo and, of course, the globe. And I wanted to try to add a dash with my Tumbo Twin Tone dual tip marker. But you can barely see it. It's not really that important. There's enough space and you can sort of see something in the middle so it kind of works. And I wanted to add more splatters so I'm going to use the robins for the splatter and for this little half mandala frame. I love between the design and the colors it's so gorgeous. I absolutely love it and I'm not really a robin person but I do love the idea of those little splatters for my book journal because I don't want to throw like a bunch of ink and stuff inside and accidentally ruin one of the other pages. So these robins should be like a, a, a thing that becomes popular. It's, it's genius. And the stickers are really beautiful too. It's a beautiful line. I love the colors and motifs and it's a little bit modern with the colors but it's a little bit vintagey with you know the stamps and some of the items I absolutely love them and I wanted to use one of those clear stickers on top of that pink splatter but I was afraid that you wouldn't read it that well so I just put the explore more sticker in that corner and it fit perfectly now I wanted to layer these two, um, the mandala and also the chipboard sticker. So I'm going to have to cut the mandala a little bit to do uh, the effect that I want to. And I love these extra colors of the splatters that I use. I feel like they pop even more. And I didn't use any purple, which... It, and actually, I don't think that the watercolors have any dark purple. And I think that I should treat myself to some watercolors. Because in my brain, I deserve it. Probably don't, but I still want them. So I'm going to tell myself that I deserve them. And that's how we justify things. Uh, so I used one of the washi sticker strips to add some layering. And then I'm going to add the mandala and also the chipboard sticker. I am also going to try keep working on the other embellishments because I am already an over and I, I love embellishing but I knew that the background was pretty busy so even though I wanted to use a lot the other part of my brain was telling me that I needed to maybe scale back a little bit don't go crazy like you usually do and there is a dark part at the top of that photo so I decided that it would be a cool place to put one of those stamps and this photo was a difficult one to scrap because it has so many unusual colors it's dark it's not cutesy it's not what I usually would do but I do love the photo and I loved DuckTales when I was a little girl and even now I still watch the new one with my daughters. And here I'm going to try to make that clear sticker work but I really wanted the message to be able you know to be legible but you couldn't see it very well with the sparkle and the paint and you can see the sparkle that well on this page because I removed quite a lot and my fingers were like super sparkly. It looked like I dipped my finger in, a, in an eyeshadow pan. It was too much. 
Uh, but I'm glad that I was able to remove some of that glitter and now I'm just adding like little frames to the corners. I feel like I have everything in um, in a corner and this is a 9 by 12 layout. I also tried that out. I I've made 9 by 12 layouts before but like I said in my last video, I don't make that many scrapbooking layouts often ever since I've done Project Life I feel like most of the things that I do are everyday life and that's the method that works for me the best and also I forgot uh, I forgot to tell you that I'm done with this album all I have to do is share this this layout right here uh, pocket pages and then film the flip through and I'm done and I'm hoping to move on to, I don't know, maybe December Daily 2021. We'll see. And now I'm just trying to add a little more sprinkles in the shape of enamel dots, which these are so beautiful. They have uh, different sizes, which I'm a fan. I don't like when they're only big because I do love using the little ones, but I also like to like put two different sizes next to each other the colors are really pretty and they're sparkly it's like it's one of the coolest enamel dot packs that i've had and i had a lot of them so i'm done with it and here is a little close-up i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know below and i can't wait to show you the final album it only took me three and a half years i deserve a price for slacking but thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye!